This video is brought to you by Brilliant. I want to press this button so much, but why? In film, at least, the button is a genre-spanning plot device that's weeded out the weak-willed and sparked preposterously devastating events for decades. Like Chekhov's gun, even in the event that a curious character is prevented from pushing the button, you can be certain that you'll eventually find out what it does. And the button isn't just for cutting plot corners. It taps directly into a character's moral or intellectual judgement, and in many cases, forges their destiny. But surely the absurdity of uncontrollable button pressing is confined to just TV and film, right? So what about real life? Most of the time, buttons are pretty useful. Doorbells, getting off buses, summoning a flight attendant for more nuts. For the most part, buttons equal power. Not that I feel particularly powerful when I'm summoning a flight attendant for more nuts, but the point is when you press one, you get something. And rarely is that something negative. Ah. And whether you are pressing a button, or eating a Michelin-starred meal, or French kissing your favourite Labradoodle, all of these things trigger a release of chemicals in the reward system part of your brain. Basically, your brain is telling your brain that the thing you are doing is good, and you should keep on doing that thing, even if society says otherwise. The reward system operates on dopamine, a neurochemical that controls how much pleasure we receive from any given behaviour. Flying a kite might release a small amount of dopamine, whereas snorting a bag full of cocaine will release a huge amount of dopamine. Don't do drugs. And actually, cocaine itself doesn't give you the high. It only triggers the release of dopamine. But the brain's reward system didn't spend millions of years developing so that we could become hopeless drug addicts. It came about for survival, to let us know when a food was really high in calories so that we'd keep on looking for that food. And for procreating, which is a fancy word for uh, making babies. Although, after having two kids, no amount of dopamine is going to get me back in the saddle. And anyway, it doesn't fit her anymore. Joking, darling. Love you. Repeated spurts of dopamine strengthen neural pathways to make us want to repeat a behaviour. It is a key factor in how we learn anything, and it's why, after pressing many buttons before and receiving many dopamine hits, that when you see any button, even one labelled do not press, you might have an almost uncontrollable urge to press it. 
And in fact, it's that do not press bit that makes this one so much more irresistible. Hey. Oh. In psychology, this can be explained by something called reactance theory. When you read the words, do not press, you feel like your freedom of choice is being threatened, and you feel compelled to protect that freedom, making you want to do the thing that you've been told not to do even more. Some people take advantage of this when using reverse psychology, to make someone do something by explicitly telling them not to do that thing. Like when my dad tells me not to kiss him in public. But dopamine and reactance theory might not be the real culprit when it comes to our overwhelming button-pushing desires. You see, in life, we like to understand our surroundings. We like to know what things are for and what they do. Having a great big button in front of you with no knowledge of its purpose causes your brain to increase the level of cortisol in your body, which makes you anxious. And the only way to lower those cortisol levels is to find out what it does, which means pressing it. Or in this case, finding out it does absolutely nothing. But unless you happen to work at a power station, a missile launch facility, or you find yourself on some terrible mid-afternoon game show, big red mysterious buttons don't really exist in the real world. Or do they? In today's social media drenched landscape, those buttons have been replaced with digital ones on touchscreens and websites. It's that notification alert that tells you when someone has sent you a hilarious gif of a certain tortured man sat on the edge of his bed, wondering how he ever even got there. I think you know the one I mean. Or when someone's liked a photo of the terrible meal that you've just cooked. Or just in some way, a social affirmation that you still exist, that you're still noticed, that the world deems you to be living the best version of your life. And you have to check it. You have to check it now. And I don't want to come across all preachy because I'm probably just as bad as everybody else. I just think it's a shame that we've got to this point where we blindly press any button, physical or digital, because we'll get some kind of satisfaction, or at least, we think we will. Those little dots give you a visceral reaction and has turned many of us into a bunch of sofa loafing Pavlov's dogs, pressing them with almost no thought at all. But that's what dopamine does. It dictates the tasks that we remember so that we don't have to waste time thinking about them again in the future. Social media giants have taken this, one of our most primal functions, and turned it against us. They've mastered addiction. In fact, them, along with drug lords and pharmaceutical companies, they've basically invented addiction. Hi. Hi. Did you receive my package? Yeah. Good. Did you press it? It doesn't do anything. Oh. Well, how would you know until you press it? Uh... Oh. Well, you weren't really meant to do that. But did you press it? No, but because it doesn't do anything. Well, how, but how do you know if... Uh, because it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Not good. You need to press it. Uh, let me see how can I explain this. Hmm. Um, it yes does yes. I think you know where I'm going with this. Yes, not uh, do anything. Ah. Oh, it's brilliant.
the online maths and science learning people. And they've just agreed to sponsor this video. <laughs> great! Brilliant offers an awesome range of maths and science courses that are great for a wide range of abilities. And if you're just starting out, then I'd highly recommend this course on scientific thinking. Brilliant breaks down each topic into bite-sized chunks and guides you through each course by encouraging you to solve a bunch of fun problems along the way. This not only makes each course enjoyable and super easy to follow, but the way the courses are structured make them really easy to fit around the other stuff in your life. So if you want to help me make more videos and find out more about Brilliant, then head over to brilliant.org slash everything and sign up for free. Also, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. But you do have to go to that exact link. As always, thanks for watching. I've been Dom, and you've been watching that man's head explode. Yay!